going to vote on that and why? Sure. So again, you have to understand the process here. You're walking down the subway in, in the Capitol, and all of a sudden you get descended by National Press Club. You know, again, what, what are you? You're going to support HR 84? What are you talking? I've never even heard of this. Okay. So you just get hounded on this crap, right? So just to get him off my backs, I wrote a press release. And I said, I always supported civil unions. Uh, never felt that uh, we need to do anything other than that. But then the Supreme Court ruled. And I just considered the matter, the, the matter settled. Okay? I, I do not in any way, shape, or form believe that Obergefell will ever be overturned because of stare decisis. Now, Completely different than Roe v. Wade. Ro Roe v. Wade need to be overturned to protect people in the future. Stare decisis is really powerful when if the Supreme Court were to overrule a previous decision, even if it's wrongly decided, and that's kind of how this all came up because, you know, Justice Thomas is probably right that it was wrongly decided, but that's a different issue as to whether or not the Supreme Court would overturn it. They never will. I, I do not, I don't see any scenario. So with all those caveats, I said, at this point, I don't see a reason to oppose it, to get them off my back, okay? Now, immediately, I started hearing from people, and I've got all kinds of reasons to be concerned about it, and primarily, primarily on the basis of religious liberty. So I'm working with Mike Lee, the, the best attorneys, best senators who are attorneys in the Senate, and we're going to have just a smoking amendment that is going to protect religious liberty, and we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah. But no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I would not support it in its current state. Okay. But at the same time, I, I don't want to see millions of lives disrupted either. I mean, to me, that was a wound that was healed. Let it go. Okay. Move on. Okay. We, we've got enough problems. We have enough things to divide this nation. Let's not drag that back, back up. So I'm not happy with the bald ones of the world who are just opening that wound and opening up that debate. Okay, we, we, need to, we need to solve the whole abortion issue, and that's going to take probably years to come up with what, with what societal consensus is there. Okay?